So after a whole bunch of work, oh, let's see if I can back up a little. We are mostly done with the chicken coop. As you can see, the run still hasn't been built. We're planning for 24 by 12 to start. And we'll start work on that later this week. But most of the work is done. And we have a chickendoors.com, I think, is the vendor chicken door. So it's uh, solar powered. There's the solar panel. There's a battery that's currently sitting under the, uh, under the coop. Um, and that'll operate the door. It will normally open at dawn and close at dark. It's just, it's actually powered off right now because the chicks are inside and we don't want them getting out until it's safe. Here we have the nesting box, easy access, this lifts up and you can see babies inside. We'll get a better view of them when we come around. Oh, the purple. Um, Chris did a lot of work to create this chicken run, chicken goop, and he had only one condition, and that was that we use the purpliest purple we could find for the accent color. This is proper purple, is the name of it. It's about as purple as you get. Inside, I started with pine chips, but it turns out that the girls really much more enjoy the yard waste. They dig through it, they find bugs, they find seeds, they find all sorts of good stuff. So we will be using deep litter. I have some deep litter that got started while they were, I hey guess, back up, back up, back up, and you know, go on that we got started while they were in the, the brooder inside, and I'll be moving that out as we go. Oh, 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 honey. <laughs> okay, she's gonna escape. Okay, we're back. <laughs> you know, I was thinking I really need to build a little barrier here to keep them from running out until we're all set. But here's the inside. So they'll have a nipple waterer. Uh, we'll set that up this week. There's a little dust bath for them. We have perches. They seem to like the branches and the brooder, so we just stuck with branches. And they're little nesting boxes. We are using PVC pipe. And we're fermenting the food, which is why it looks all wet. All right, ladies, back up. Back, back, back. Thank you. Here, why don't you come up? No, no go. They're a little traumatized today because they did not like being moved over to the new location. They like the new location. They really didn't like the movement though. And this is a crab apple tree. And this is a mulberry tree. And I don't know if you can see, but there are just berries everywhere. They don't really seem to like the built mulberries. I'm hoping that they get a taste for them because they're abundant. So that's it. Chris did a lot 